Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, Dulos here, and I'm doing a continuation of the everyday carry video. And today I'm going to be talking about my extended everyday carry. This is what I take with me to work, and if I'm going away for a few days or a day or just something extended, I will bring this pack with me. Basically, there's not too much stuff in here at this point. Uh, it's a pretty light pack. You know, I'll usually just carry my laptop or a tablet or even stuff my lunch in here uh, if I'm going to work. Um, kind of a MERSE or a European carry-all, but uh, it kind of does the trick. I'm able to carry a few extra things and uh, it, it's a little more handy than my laptop bag used to be. This is the Condor Compact Assault Pack. Um, it's a great pack, good quality, and maybe I'll do a review in another video. Um, you see it's got a large front pouch here, it's got Molly on it. Um, Another pouch up here it has a front pack and then a rear pack and attachments on the side. The front here I have uh, another Condor uh, pistol mag pouch, um, a universal pistol mag pouch. Um, I can stick a couple extra mags in here. Generally I won't put magazines in there if I'm going out in public or I'm going somewhere that uh, you know people are going to see, uh, but you know, fit a couple extra mags in here pretty quick. It's not really stretched out because I don't use it that much. But it's there for emergencies or from going hiking or camping. This front pouch is really my utility pouch. I keep a lot of things in here that I need to get to um, every day. It has these nice tensioners on here so that if you're running a lot of stuff you can stretch it out. If not you can make the pack uh, much smaller. Uh, I have my ID to get into work. Um, Again, this is a knife for my everyday carry. Usually I'll carry this in my pocket, but if I have the bag, I'll stuff it in here. Um, what else is in here? Got some ibuprofen for the headache or toothache or whatever's coming up. Uh, I got a space pen in here. I've had this for six or seven years now. It's an excellent little pen. Uh, it's waterproofing right upside down. Uh, I need new ink for it though. What else do we have in here? Um, nail clippers, probably because I'm just lazy and never find time to do it. And then uh, I just have a Swiss Army knife in here. Don't always carry this in here, sometimes I just leave this in the car. Um, you know, and then the day I'll put anything else important or anything in here, like wallet or keys or anything that uh, I'm kind of working out of regularly. These patches are from Zahal, they're from Israeli military. I'm not Israeli military. Uh, but I am a believer and I love the way these patches are and support Israel and uh, they have a right to that land over there. But in here is where I keep my glasses case. Look, 50 cents. And uh, you know, this is just so I can clean my glasses or put them away if I have to. But I wear my glasses all the time so it's really just so that I have the stuff just in case. Okay. And the center pouch, let's open this up here. Center pouch, there's this mesh lining and then a, a, uh, a nylon lining back here. So you have a big pocket back here. You have two mesh pockets. Um, I've kept documents in here and other small things in there. Sometimes I'll keep, uh, I think it's in the other pocket now, but I keep a MIC holster for the Glock, an extra holster in there. Uh, nothing in here at the moment, but nice, decent size. And then uh, on the side here, you'll see I have uh, my Streamlight. It's uh, the Protac 2AA. Uh, I'll show this in the other carry again. If I'm carrying this bag and I don't need it in my pocket or it's you know daytime, I keep it in here. But at night, or if I'm in a building, I'll keep it in a pocket. Okay, so this large pouch back here, this is the main compartment. Uh, it's starting to be winter, so I'm starting to carry. <laughs> it's not really winter yet. It's the fall, but it feels like it up here in my state. I'm carrying just a beanie in here. Um, probably carry some other winter items. For the summer, I was carrying a hat, or I usually just leave the hat in the car. But uh, in here, you have a decent sized container. There's a zip pouch here where you can keep documents. And then. Uh, on the front so you can see this. In here I keep my mechanics gloves. 
I'm actually missing the other glove, so I probably need to get another pair. Um, don't know what happened to them the last time I went to the range. So, must have got stuck in the laundry, or maybe, who knows, maybe they're in my range bag and I just didn't see it. Um, carry the MIG holster for the Glock. Um, this just snaps, I have the light on it now, but this just snaps right over the trigger guard. Um, I keep that in there in case I'm hiking or camping or you never know if I just need another holster or want to holster the gun and, not, and leave it out on the seat or in my bag or uh, which is nice, it's really handy. Or if I don't have my holster on me, I can use that as my carry holster. Um, also a paracord bracelet and uh, emergency whistle with compass on there. So in here again, I'll, you know, I'll put my laptop or tablet or whatever else is going on in there. Again, this is very, very basic. It's just sort of an everyday carry. It's not really a bug out bag or anything like that. It's just makes it easier to carry some essentials and it's a decent bag for packing other items in or it's really turned into a bag review, isn't it? Or just carrying other things that are necessities throughout the day. It just makes it a little easier. And it's multi-purpose. On the back, you'll see uh, there's room here. You can put a hydration pouch in there. That's kind of hard to see. You might also be able to fit plate armor in there. I have some AR-500 plates that might fit in there. But again, I had to check on that. But that's the bag. And uh, I also have this Liberty bottle here. All this green. This Liberty bottle here is actually a Max Edition edition where you get the OD green. It was actually cheaper. I got it on Amazon for uh, my birthday. And so far, so good. I've taken it camping, although um, after camping, it did end up getting some mold in the bottom. I'm having trouble getting out. I'm going to have to scrub out. But decent bottle. Metal. Nice, uh, soft, almost a soft touch plastic. Or almost a soft touch rubber coating on it. So, I believe this is the 32 ounce. Oh, one more thing. I also uh, forgot because it's just in there for emergencies. I have USB key hiding in there. So, let's go take a look at what's in the car. Okay, so welcome to my car. Um, quick overview, I've just got a, a double USB port in there. Um, basically it's just a cigarette light adapter, it just has two USB ports on it. My center console, I have an additional cigarette lighter um, USB port for charging phones or devices. Um, I have a, a wall charger. Um, and then I have a, let's get it out, let's see if we can see this stuff. Got this window break hammer. So a point, stick it against the window and break it. And then in the back it has a razor for cutting through seat belts. Haven't tried this yet, but it's supposed to work pretty good. I'll carry another uh, MIC holster in here just in case. Okay, in the glove box, just carry all the papers, uh, lint brush, but I also carry extra fuses for the car. And um, I just have a simple just a cheapo multi-tool here and uh, some extra fuses and uh, fuse it's a fuse puller and a tester all right so the trunk is kind of a mess but I've got a ice scraper window shield for the summer uh, old pair of sneakers in there some socks uh, just a rag in case you know I need to check the oil or anything like that um, some paracord hiding down there oh, bungee binoculars uh, I got an E tool, old pair of mechanics gloves again for any needs. Um, had some zip ties in here. I actually bought replacements in the house. I got to bring in here, and then uh, just some old junk I got to throw out. I don't really go in here, um, you know, except just to grab gloves and stuff. Got some winter gloves in there. Um, that's that. And then uh, in the spare tire well, I keep uh, two emergency containers. Uh, it's actually a water bottle. It has, you know, matches, a heat blanket, and some other goodies in there. Um, I'll actually do a, a breakout video on these too. Another one. Uh, I got a screwdriver here. Um, this is obviously just the jack and the spare. Oh yeah, and I also got a. Here we go. Got some tools.
tools in here. And here's a tire pressure gauge and a ratcheting screwdriver. Who knows if I'll need it, but it's just where I keep it. So that's my extended carry. Uh, it's not quite a bug out bag, but between that and what's in the car, it should be enough to handle uh, most things that uh, come my way. And just makes life uh, a little bit easier when it comes to carrying things. Uh, the bag, it's a wonderful invention. But um, thanks for watching, and I'd love to hear what you guys carry and uh, what you would do uh, differently. Not necessarily what you do differently in my system, but what you do differently in your system. Um, I'm always willing to learn and find out more about what's going on. And uh, make sure you like and subscribe and share the video. Thanks for watching, guys.